Hello together everybody today I'm going to change this change chain and this rear sprocket and I'm going to use this chain breaker to remove the old chain and I must say changing the rear sprocket turned out to be a real hassle as well as removing the wheel as we will soon see This chain actually has a special link, uh, in Swedish it's called chain lock, uh, but I just took a random link and broke it with a chain breaker. And here the troubles begin. The screw and the nut here, the threading broke on the screw. So I had to drill it out just to be able to remove the wheel. Okay, now it's almost off. The hammer didn't make it, but we just had to put some rotation force on it. So it breaks. So here's the rear sprocket with the, the gear mechanism inside. So uh, there's six teeth in there and uh, I had this uh, tool with 12 <laughs> the right diameter but 12 teeth so I just filed off half of it <laughs> see if it fits half of the two teeth Yeah, it fits perfectly. <laughs> that took like 20 minutes or more. But it turned out it's totally unnecessary because you just have to remove this metal uh, ring, this, I don't know, in Swedish it's called lock ring, to free up the cog wheel. Clean up the parts a bit before reassembling. Now they're clean, just have to remember in which order to reassemble it. Luckily, I have this video that you're looking at to look at to see how they were before I disassembled. Here's the fat, it's on grease for the what's it called? The bearings. I'm not exactly sure where to apply the grease, so I applied it like everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so here's the bearing. Uh, that's it behind the part I just cleaned and it misses a couple of uh, what's it called these balls metal balls that are inside the bearing uh, but it works anyway but I should probably replace it I'll do it next time
the new chain was, of course, too long. I had to remove a number of links. But luckily I had this chain breaker. And this uh, special link, the last one, just to lock it up, it is from another chain. But it fits. So there is the mechanism to keep it in place. I have to just clip it, flip it, click it in place. Done. some thread lock so this doesn't go off and see if it freewheeling works yeah seems to work the freewheeling works done 